Hi guys, so this is our uh, problem statement maximum subsequence uh, uh, scores. You are given two uh, zero based indexed uh, arrays num1 and num2 of length n and positive integer k. You must choose subsequence of uh, indices from the uh, num1 of k length. Okay, for chosen indices, your score is defined as this one. Sum of the ele uh, selected element from uh, num1 multiply with the minimum of selected elements from num2 so here the uh, corresponding elements we have to uh, take uh, from num2 also uh, whichever uh, we have chosen from num1 so it is defined by this thing and we have to return the maximum po possible score so if here it will look uh, 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 from second we have to get the minimum one and the from uh, num1 uh, first one we have to uh, take the sum of the elements so uh, if we do the short uh, short by second uh, num2 array and corresponding element we are uh, doing the shorting uh, so obviously the lowest index uh, will have lowest value and uh, next uh, index will have next higher value so let's uh, let's consider this one so let's copy paste it here okay so here uh, we have this array and uh, this is first one and the second one is this one two one four uh, three four so we will take this one so once we will short with based on the second one so how it will look so it will look something like this uh, basically uh, second will become one two three four and corresponding elements you will uh, short uh, on first array so uh, one will move to the second place so at first place it will come three and then uh, one and then you will have three and then uh, for two okay now if you look if you go from uh, this uh, taking one so max uh, uh, k elements that can possible from this one uh, obviously you have to take uh, this element the current element and the rest k minus one from this one maximum one okay similarly when you are going to this one so obviously you will be taking this as a minimum and this value you will taking for some and uh, k minus elements from this uh, uh, this array so what we can do is first we uh, we will short it and obviously uh, finding the top k elements uh, uh, and there some uh, we can use the priority queue so let's start with code here first uh, let's define a uh, one uh, class here private class pair info info so basically here you will have a uh, value one and then you will have uh, uh, basically value 2 okay and you will define uh, constructor this is dot value 1 equal to value 1 and then this dot value 2 equal to value 2 okay fine so you have de uh, defined this class so now uh, now let's assume uh, you uh, you have n size because both uh, are of same length you will take uh, this one then uh, you will take pair info uh, nums as uh, and here you can define the pair info with this length and after that uh, what you can do is uh, okay i think uh, there is some mistake here uh, here p is not there and then you will iterate from i equal to 0 to n and less than n plus plus and here in nums you will initialize ith value with ith value uh, pair info and uh, here you will pass first value and then second value and after that once you will be done with this one so what you will be do uh, doing here you need to short this array okay 
so let's do the shorting part also arrays dot short okay and here you will passing nums and uh, a comma b and then here you can define this if a dot uh, value to equal equal to b dot value to then obviously you will select the first one so uh, a dot value one minus a dot value two sorry b dot value one okay once you are done if it is uh, not equal then obviously you will have to return uh, a dot value two minus b dot value two okay now it will uh, short your array once you will get this one then uh, you have uh, you have to initialize two things uh, you will take a uh, sum and uh, uh, basically sum k so and uh, here you will take the answer initially as zero and what you will do you will go from n minus one position to uh, greater than equal to zero and then minus minus and here once you are getting till here where uh, here one thing is left uh, defining the priority queue so priority queue we have to uh, take min hip here so min hip will be there so min uh, here let's take the integer and pq and then new priority queue and once uh, that is done uh, now the thing is uh, uh, when you are taking uh, so here you will be getting the min value so current min value will be the uh, pair nums i so second value you are considering as the min value okay now uh, the thing is uh, you have to get uh, other info also uh, and before that you will have to do this uh, thing while pq dot size if it is greater than k minus 1 obviously you will pull it and obviously you will remove from uh, uh, you will remove from some also once that is done you will uh, add the this value nums i first value you will because the current element you are considering now so here you will add it and uh, you will add it in priority queue also this value now the thing is uh, okay now this is the uh, instance once you will get uh, so here we have done so if uh, size is greater than k minus 1 even the k size we will removing it reason is uh, we have to add this current element also and uh, till the time we will be removing now if uh, pq dot uh, size if it is uh, equal equal to k then obviously we do the operation answer equal to math dot max answer and here you have sum and then min value is there okay so you will be returning this answer so let's go through our code once we have defined n okay and n equal to then we have defined uh, norms pair info then we are adding pair info details then we are doing the shorting thing then we we are taking the sum k okay we have defined as uh, sum k sum is there and uh, if uh, taking current value if it is greater then we are pulling and reducing our sum and this so let's try to run it Okay, there is uh, one issue with the pair info. Uh, let's go to this part. Pair info, what's the issue here? Mm, okay, okay. It should be array. Mm, okay, nice. Uh, fine. I think it should remove all the errors. Yeah, so now it has accepted our sample cases. So let's try to submit it. Oh, it's working fine. 